Hey, so thanks for checking out Starfish, and I made this quick video to show you how I use these simple steps that I take to really break free from that credit card system and really start being a Starfish, start to change my, my buying power, my buying habits, start earning money instead of losing it to the credit card companies. And so the first half of this video will be very instructional. I'll show you step-by-step -step how Starfish works. And then the second half of the video will show you exactly where we're making the money and how the gains all work. And so if we jump into my screen here, I basically, I got an iPhone 14 uh, plus because I had so many scam calls. So I had to get a new number and got a new phone with it too. But I'm a clumsy with these, you know, butterfingers. So I have to buy a new case. So I'm going to go on the Apple website here and I'm going to buy myself a new case here. I already have it in my uh, checkout system here. And so this case is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pay in full. And um, I'll have it delivered to me. It's free with the delivery. And then um, we'll continue the payment here. Now, you can see here that this, if you, if you use uh, the Apple Card, you're going to get 3% back. You know, it's very generous. They give you 3% cash back when you're just using their credit card. And so we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to enter our gift card right here. Okay. And so we're going to jump into my phone. I jumped into my phone and now I jumped into new clothes. Uh, there's been a quick update. This is an old video that I made a while ago, uh, but now I'm in it for a little bit. And Starfish has developed since I made this video. All the information going forth from here, I just watched and reviewed it. It's still really good. However, uh, they did update the UI and UX and design for their Starfish application. And so it looks like this, as you can see on the top left side of my screen. Um, it still operates in the same functionality, but now instead of that red um, scheme that you'll see in the rest of the video, it's now like a blue scheme. And then, you know, they I think they did a great job in organizing everything here properly. Uh, yeah, so thanks so much for watching so far. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that it's going to look different. The app is going to look different because it's an outdated version, but I think the content is still uh, really good. And if you want to know how to add the Starfish web app to your iPhone, I made a separate video for that. Link in the description down below or anywhere around the screen. Um, but yeah, so just, just so you know, you're not confused that the app has been updated. It's new UI and UX on top of it. And they're co consistently updating um, the, the technology and the platform for us. And so I'm just we're still really excited and excited that you're joining here today. So essentially, we're also going to load up our account here. It's still the same way. We're going to go into wallet in the left hand side, bottom left hand side of the screen. And this is where you could add money, payment sources, all that kind of stuff. So uh, when we load up our wallet, this is where we're going to take it from here. So our Starfish account will have the money. And this is really good if you're someone who budgets, like a Dave Ramsey type of person. I've budgeted this much money to spend this month on whatever else. So uh, I, I budgeted or, or I budget with my wife, but for this inst instance, I'm gonna show you how to add more money. And then it's connected directly to my Chase bank account. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add $100 and I'm gonna verify, payment, acknowledge, boom. And that's, it's that easy, okay? Now, now that we've added 100, you can see here my, my, my wallet's updated to about $112. I'm gonna go home and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit shop here. National brands, national brands here. Boom. Now I have, uh, I could search, you could search through any one of these national brands, like for cash back, like advanced auto parts or whatever. But, and I have like my favorite ones that I'm, that I like. So I'm going to go over here to favorites and then I'm going to look for, where's my Apple, Apple. Oh, maybe I didn't add Apple. So look at Apple, Apple gift card. Oh, there you go. So here's my Apple gift card. Now I know because this is going to cost me 60, what's the price here? $63. And 13 cents right here at the top right corner, right there, so you can see it. Um, I'm gonna go back to my phone and put in $63.13. Boom. Okay. Oh, I just I just logged out. Let me just add here. I'm still new at this. Okay, so <laughs> this is uh, I should have you know I'm making this uh, by the time you watch this video, I'm very new to this uh, whole thing, but I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to see. Okay, review and pay. Boom. $63.13. I get $5 back in purchase perks and I'm going to load that up. So that's pretty good. Um, oh, and by the way, let me, let me show you something. Um, that that's what I, how much I have on my card, but let me just show you. I forgot to show you like the most important part. 
Apple, you could see that I get 8% back in perks. You see that right there? 8% back in perks. Whereas on Apple, I get 3% back in perks. So you're already making more money back. They're going to give you 3% for using a credit card that you might not pay off in full, that you didn't, that maybe you didn't budget for. It. It's not like good. Part of this whole thing is to like really correct our financial spending. And I know that I have these bad habits that I need to totally break because the credit card system, they know that we have bad habits. They know that we like to buy things with money that we don't have, but uh, so so they take advantage of that situation with like a with an Apple card. If I use my Chase Sapphire, my Sapphire uh, is probably much more interest. Actually, let me just show you how much interest this is. That they would be charging me 19 to 26 percent interest on my Chase Sapphire if I use that, which I would probably typically do. And then if I use the credit card, I mean, and maybe I had some like 1% cash back or something like that. And I don't know what the cash back uh, is on the Apple card, but I know this, that this is fully paid off and I'm actually made 8% instead of 3% cash back. And so right now I'm gonna go ahead and, and input my gift card pin right there. I'm gonna have to switch back to my phone. Boom, done here. I'm gonna go to my wallet here. So now I'm over here, I'm checking out my view gift cards. It's here at the bottom. Maybe I could pull it up a little more. Uh, view gift cards. And then you'll see here, I've got some gift cards here. The Apple gift card right there. Boom, I'm gonna open that up. View card. I can check the card balance and stuff like that. So, all right, so my Apple gift card here is, let's see, maybe I can just, I'll just type it in here. So it's this number. By the time you're seeing this, I've already used it, so you can't use it anymore. And you can see me use it here. Type it in here, X, Three L seven T R Z N four G T uh four G T seven L two T R. Okay, now we're gonna hit apply. Bing bam boop, your Apple gift card covers your entire purchase, so you don't need a credit card payment. Boom, continue to review, and that's what I like to see. Ready to place your order? Everything looks great. And so we are ready to roll. Gift card applied, place order. Now I made 5% back on that, which was about five bucks. So really that thing cost me like, you know, $5, so it's 55 bucks for that. So I'm excited. That's how that whole system works. So you could use this apparently for, um, and I'm new at this, but that you could use this for like, my, my wife is using it for uh, Walmart grocery store pickup orders. There's other things that like Domino's Pizza has like 18% back, Cheddar's has uh, money back, or Chili's has money back, uh, all that kind of stuff. There's a whole bunch of national brand stores. So you don't have to change what you're buying or even how you shop, but maybe uh, you, you get more cash back and you, you could help you spend uh, financially better than you would using credit cards. And, and that's the whole scheme. The whole scheme is to make it so easy for you to, to lure you and I in to spending with, like with crazy credit cards that we fall into that whole, I mean like 25% uh, interest rate. So let me really quick uh, share with you how I see this working. Again, I'm brand new to this uh, whole starfish community, this consumer rebellion community, but uh, this is my lizard brain way of thinking through this. So you and I have one option. That's that's me and you know, this is, this is my money in my bank account or whatever. You and I can either go this route and we would use uh, a credit card company to then they would charge us, let's say, I mean, I mean, you saw it, like 19% to, uh, you know, 26% interest uh, if we don't pay it fully off. And I'm not sure about you, but I certainly don't pay off my credit card fully. Um, I try to, and I have great intention to, but it, you know, it doesn't always doesn't always work like that. Into a store. In this case, it's the Apple Store. There's my little Apple icon. Okay, so and and that's how we would we would buy it, and we would lose that much. Maybe they would be very generous, and they we would gain three percent, okay, cash back rewards or whatever. Instead, we could use something like Starfish. That's my best drawing for Starfish, and we would gain eight percent cash back. Now you got to be okay with this because uh, th that's a five percent difference in rewards back, and you don't have any danger of running into a 20% interest if you're if you're being charged for that. Um, and it's one of those things, can you, would you be willing to delay your gratification? Would you be willing to spend more financially uh, responsible uh, purchases 
um, when when you're making any same purchases. And then I'm shopping at the same stores. And so that's that's basically how I see it. Um, we would go through and use this app. Basically, you load up your account with Starfish and you buy whatever credit card you want. Um, you know, you could and you'll have a whole bunch of different credit cards. You maybe saw on mine that I had Walmart cards and, and Apple cards. And so you just pick one out and you use it. It is changing your buying habits, but it is also changing your financial future, or at least hopefully it'll change mine and yours financial futures together. Uh, I would love to have you as part of the team, but uh, and I'm still learning and I'm still very, very, very new <laughs> to this whole thing, this whole ecosystem, but I'm excited and I'm, I'm, I'm excited for you and I'm excited to see what new adventures we could go on. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you, you know, hopefully at the next open meeting.